Yay! Okay, cool. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy 2020. Hello, 2020. I am so happy that this decade is here. Um, I wanted to come on live today to start off this year on a, this new decade on a great foot by starting to do these hashtag spiritual Sunday um, tarot card uh, guidance readings live for you here on my Facebook page so that you can uh, ask any questions if you're here live and so that you can really get more of a tuned in uh, and stronger feel for uh, the guidance that is coming through. Um, I'm a little like it's it's this energy has been kind of crazy um, if you haven't noticed so I had been, I've been talking about it for months about how 2020 was coming and it's a really big year, especially in Feng Shui, uh, Chinese astrology, but not only that, but in regular astrology and <clears throat> the times are shifting, the times are changing and these old stories and these old beliefs that we have had for a really long time are just ready to be dropped. So if you're on a spiritual journey or if you are just on this in this place where you know that you were just meant for more, where life is supposed to be better, where you are supposed to be living a life where things are working out for you, where you are just happier, then you are in the right place. Uh, if this is the first time that you've come to my Facebook page or my channel at, or my YouTube channel or wherever I'm posting this, then hi, I am, of course, Alicia Yang, your success coach and psychic at yestotheying.com, where success always starts by saying yes to you. And what I do is I am able to a channel direct guidance from your spirit guides and your guardian angels in the universe so that you know exactly what to do in order to get to where you want to go on the fastest possible path with the most ease and fun. Because life is supposed to be fun, we are not supposed to struggle, and we are ready to step into this brand new world where we can actually live our hashtag best year yet, right? And that's what's really exciting. So I'm sure that if you have been following me for a while, you know that there is this, there's been this pull, there's been this, like people are starting to get ready to actually step up, rise up, show up and shine their light because you know, you real, you're realizing that your gifts matter and you're realizing you have something to give and you just need to know how to be able to put it out there so that A, you can help other people, but then B, also get nicely and massively compensated for your work so that you can continue to do your work. There's also, I know like, um, there's like a, quite a handful of my clients also that are also have been looking for love. And that was a really big theme for me, um, stepping into 2020. Um, when I was looking for what my theme word would be for the next decade of my life, um, last year it was infuse your life with love. I'm trying to see if I can get my get my other journal. Where's my other journal? Let me show you. Where'd it go? Is it here? Um, my other, I wanted to show you what I, oh, here it is. <laughs> I will be getting to pulling cards in just a second, but this is coming through. So I just, these messages are important. Um, okay. So last year, last year, my um, my big theme was, and this was my quotes and affirmations that I drew out in my bullet journal, but it was come from a place of love, right? And my big thing was love and connection, let love in, um, co-create with spirit and listen to your heart. And that was kind of like my theme and what I always, and empty your mind. Um, that was kind of my theme for last year and it was a struggle to do that. But because I was working on coming from a place of love with everything, it was funny because I had these huge realizations that um, that I needed to take that another step for, uh, further. And I now, coming from a place of love, now my mission for 2020 is to do all things 
with love and speak about all things love. What I mean by that is that when I when I was like when I was journaling and thinking about what I wanted 2020 to be, I wanted to the the thing that came to my mind, you know, we've if you've been the thing that came to the thing that came to my mind was being in love with every area of my life. If you follow any other spiritual coaches and you know psychic readers and astrologists out there, you know there's been this whole thing about you know getting to where you want to go with ease and flow, ease and flow, stepping into alignment, raising your vibe, like you know raising your vibes, like you know positivity, like the secret, right, all this stuff. But sometimes like that concept is so now esoteric or like on trend, like. Sometimes I don't even know what exactly does that mean. So I was really trying to figure a word or a phrase that where that would make sense to me, where I could step into alignment with my soul and follow the guidance and move forward easily and effortlessly in a way that made sense to me, in a way that was real for me, in a way that got me the results that I really wanted to get. And um, because again, being a success coach, I, I am all about results because I do like getting results and I understand it's a journey, but you know, we all like to get what we want, right? So that's the whole point of being here. So yes, I still want to come from a place of love, but I wanted to be in love with every area of my life. And what did I mean by that? Um, I wrote a whole Instagram post about it. So if you want to scroll down on this page, you can see it. Um, but I realized it was like being in love, if you've ever been in love before, being in love is exhilarating. Being in love to me, when I have been in love many, many times, but when I am in love with someone in a relationship, or it can be even, it doesn't have to be with a person, but it could be for a specific thing. Like my brand new Kate Spade uh, burgundy purse that is the most amazing beautiful thing ever and hashtag best Christmas present ever um, when I am in love I feel this kind of certainty that is unshakable when I am in love with someone or something I I I feel energized, I feel amplified, I feel aware, I feel present, I feel clarity, I feel groundedness. I feel like I can do I feel like superwoman. I feel like I can do whatever I want and I am unstoppable. That's how I feel when I'm in love and I know that that person loves me or like I'm like, "Yes, this is the thing. This is it. I know I need to get this thing. I know I need to do this thing. No one can say otherwise even if they try to poo-poo it." I don't give two fucks. I just know. Like when you know, you know. And when you're in love, you're in love. And there's like these almost like jittery butterflies. So it's almost like a nervous, fearful thing, but it's also really exciting. And that's also part of it too. And when I was like really starting to, I just started to just like write a whole thing about what it felt like to be in love. And when I read it back to myself, I was like, oh my God, this is exactly what alignment is. This is exactly what ease and flow is and trusting in the universe and like all of these spiritual phrases. But like it, I was able to put it into a, a words or an idea or a reference of an experience that made sense to me. So if that makes sense to you being in love, right? Like everybody wants to be in love with, you know, their ideal person, um, having their, you know, romantic relationship. But if you were in love with every area of your life, what would you, how would your life be different? Is that your ideal way you would want to feel in every area, like every area of your life. So I would want to be like in love with my body. Like, like when I look into the mirror, am I in love with the way that my hair looks, my skin, my body, like my curves, you know, like, um, even what I'm wearing, am I in love with all of my clothes and, um, and like, and, and my shoes and my, my purses and my accessories. Am I in love? Like, again, you can use whatever word that you want, but for me, that goes into like, am I in love with the food that I'm eating? The, the, like the journal that I got for myself, which hashtag side note, um, the, well, this is my journal for, the, or my journal and planner for this 
new decade, a girl should be two things, who and what she wants. Thank you, Coco Chanel. And it's pink because I love it and I'm in love with it. I don't give a fuck what anyone else says. Um, are you, and you, do you want to be in love? Hi! Do you want to be in love with how you make money? Where your job is, who you hang out with, what you do on a daily basis, what your home looks like, um, the color of your walls. It you can kind of akin it to this whole Marie Kondo, like, you know, what sparks joy. But again, even this whole feeling of joy, okay, well, sometimes I get so stressed out, I just don't even remember what joy is for me. It just seems so esoteric. It just seems something like it's not really quite tangible. But when I think about being in love, I know because I've been in love before, I love love. I love being in love. I love giving love. I love receiving love. Love to me is like do all things with love. All you need is love. Thank you, Beatles, et cetera, et cetera. So that's my theme word for 2020 and for this new decade is to make sure that everything that I do, everything that I have, every person in my life is someone that I'm head over heels in love with because I grew up on Tony Disney movies and, you know, Cinderella, Happily Ever After, etc., etc. But for me, that's what it feels like. So as long as I'm exuding that and doing only the things that I absolutely love, then I can't help but get that abundance back to me. So getting the loving relationship, the millions of dollars, the man, the million, and the, the, the man, the, the money, and the million dollar empire, right? So all that to say two things. One, one of the things that I love to do is to pull cards for spiritual guidance for you guys every week. So um, every Sunday, I'm going to come on live on my Facebook page to pull these cards for you and just to give you some downloaded spiritual guidance. Um, a benefit for that is that you get some guidance and you can take what you want and then you know leave the rest, only take the guidance that you're in love with. And then also it gives you a feel on like what it's like to actually have a real tarot card reading with me. Um, obviously, if it's like a one-on-one -on -one, um, tarot card reading, then you're gonna get way more personal advice and your uh, your guides will be personally channeled. So you'll have additional messages, which is pretty effing awesome. My tarot card readings are very fun. They are very safe. They are so full of love um, because your angels do want you to succeed. Um, so I am going to do that in just a minute. Um, before I do that though, and you're like, okay, isn't that the whole point of you getting on right now? I know. Um, I love to talk too. I don't, that's why Twitter is my arch nemesis. I can't, it's hard for me to write in just like little sentences. Um, I don't know, 140 characters less. But the other thing I wanted to tell you is that one of the things that I am really looking forward to wanting to do for you, cause I am in love with this idea is to hold a, slay your way through the next decade workshop. And I'm so excited about this. I've been mulling about uh, mulling about this and being like, okay, what's the best way? What way would I feel most in love to um, delivering this content to you? Um, but I really have a strong desire to help you create your best year yet. So if you are wanting to take a hold of this new decade and to like, you know, really, really be able to chart out what it is that you want, what the vision is for your life that you want, um, and then break it down into actual practical steps on how you were able to get all of those things, then um, definitely comment below because this workshop is going to be starting next week and I am so excited. It's going to be seven to 10 days with me where every day you're going to be able to come and like get a small action step that you can take in, um, in order to plan out and chart out everything that you need in order to succeed this year. Cause this is the year where you will be able to have it all. Isn't that exciting? Getting hashtag all the things. Um, okay, cool. So, uh, I'm very excited. So yes, if you would like to join me for my, uh, slay your way through the next decade, hashtag your best year yet workshop, then, uh, comment below or message me. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. And thank you so much. And I want to say for all the people who, um, have been here, like, you know, throughout the times, thank you so much for supporting me. Um, this really is going to be my best year yet. And you will 
be seeing me show up a lot more consistently uh, doing things that I really love and I hope you love them and of course uh, let me know how I can continue to serve you and make your life some uh, a life that you are head over heels in love with as well. Okay, let us meditate. So uh, let's meditate and then let's pull some cards for some spiritual guidance for the week of January 5th through the 11th. All right. So just close your eyes and take a deep breath in and out. Take a deep breath in and out. Take a deep breath in and out. And now call upon our angels and spirit guides and the universe to come and surround us in a bubble of pink and white light. This is a protective bubble so that nothing can come in except for love and above. Anything negative or toxic or fearful will just simply bounce off and get transmuted into love and light. Anything that comes up inside of us also gets lovingly transmuted into love and light. We are safe, we are loved, we are protected. We are always protected and divinely directed. This is the year that we get to have our best year yet. You have everything it takes to succeed and you are always directed to be at the right place at the right time with the right people to seize those right golden opportunities where abundance and love showers upon you every single day. You are ready to break free. You are ready to soar. You are ready to shine. And you are ready to step forward as your true self and owning the magic and power of who you truly are. We thank you in advance for this guidance that you are giving us today. Please use me as a clear channel so that I can deliver clear and loving guidance to everyone who needs it. Thank you for being with us today. And thank you for continuing to support us on our journeys. Amen. Oh, that felt good. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do what I did before, uh, which was pull a couple of cards, one or two cards from three different decks and then read you what they are. So um, the first deck I'm going to pull from is the Intuitive Beauty Angel deck that I got um, I am so in love with this. Kristen Marie Rodriguez, uh, created these uh, beautiful cards and I just connected the, with them right away because I am very connected to Venus, AKA Aphrodite. And, um, where we love to talk about all things, beauty, love, and money. So, uh, this is one of my favorite decks that I've just, I've just bonded with immediately and love using. So, um, I will be pulling from that deck and then the wisdom of the Oracle deck, which is also Colette Baron Reed. And she's also one of my favorites. And then for some practical high vibe guidance, my very lovely magical mermaids and dolphins, just so that you have some practical guidance to use for the week. I'm also curious, and I'll probably just do a poll later, but I'm wondering if you would be interested in me polling for each astrological sign. That was something that I was thinking about doing for these spiritual Sunday videos is to do a general one and then to go back and like pull from one of the decks, um, pull a card for each astrological sign. Um, let me know if that's something that you're interested in. If so, comment below. Otherwise, I'm going to get on getting on. Okay. So with the intuitive beauty angel deck, what do we need? What spiritual guidance do we need for this week? Okay. What spiritual guidance do we need for this week? All right. Let's see. All right. There's two 
two cards came out for that. Then I'm going to take the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. All right, what guidance do we need for this week? Okay, it's saying just the one card. Cool. And then Magical Mermaids. Oh, what guidance do we need for this week? That and that. Cool. Awesome. So we have five cards this week. All right, let's start with the beauty cards. So, um, all right. So the first card from the Angel and Beauty deck is the Divine Creator. How beautiful are these cards? Okay. So the divine creator, what this means. And again, if you haven't done this with me before, um, I'm going to read to you what it says in the book, but then also if any other um, guidance comes through from the universe and from our guides, then I just will simply say them. All right. You are a divine child of God. God is working through you. The divine has heard your prayers and can see and feel your deepest desires in your heart. The divine will be sending you a miracle, unexpected blessings. Call on the divine to give you a sign or to, lead, or to be led to a higher purpose. In addition, this card can also relate to receiving or asking for a helping hand. Remember, it's okay to ask for and receive help. That's a big thing. Uh, the universe wants to remind you that Oftentimes we think we have to work harder in order to receive, but it's actually just the belief that we aren't worthy of receiving what we desire. So the universe wants you to know that you are allowed to give and receive help and abundance and blessings and miracles. Um, if you find it hard to ask for help, then ask the divine creator to assist you with this, to help you keep an open mind and open up to more and open up more to the idea than to move then to move forward with brave actions work on releasing and surrendering control it's safe for you to receive help wow okay so that's something where again this card for this week especially is that you don't have to do everything by yourself you don't have to do it alone you don't have to um, suffer alone and there are people who want to help you. I want to help you. Uh, so if you're having a hard time asking for help or wanting to receive help, but you are really big on taking massive action so that you can get the things that you desire with ease and effortlessness and you're finally ready to drop the motherfucking struggle, then um, let me know and uh, you may want to sign up for my uh, hashtag best year yet. Um, workshop that's going to be happening this week so that you can take some massive action that's going to be effective and get you everything that you desire and more because you're a boss okay so the universe has your back just ask all right the second card is wow mother mary i love mother mary second card mother mary is here to help us all right Mother Mary is sending her gentle, loving energy to you. She wants you to remember that you're loved and fully supported. She's with you during this time. She's sending her love, comfort, and support directly to your heart. She's also going to help you with receiving a miracle or blessing to overcome this. Talk about miracles and blessings. This is amazing. She's going to assist with manifesting your heart's desires. Invoke Mother Mary's energy by wearing rose scent lighting rose scented candles or lighting a mother mary petition candle speak to her from your heart and surrender your wishes to her she will intervene swiftly i love having mother mary's energy because again what i was talking about before which is unconditional love and being in love with every area of your life mother mary also wants you to be in love with every area of your life and to love yourself more this is a really big time also to increase the amount of self-care 
and the amount of love that you're giving yourself. A lot of times self-care has this really weird stigma. It's not just, you know, rose scented candles and bubble baths, but it's more so about honoring what you need at the time when you need it. So sometimes you might need to have a, a rose scented bubble bath, right? Rose scented candles and bubble baths. But sometimes you just might need to take a nap or sometimes you just might need to be angry or sometimes you just might need to like be in a bad mood or feel regret or feel depression or feel sad or feel angry. It's okay to feel the way you want to feel. You are always safe and loved and protected. And if you're always safe, if Mother Mary always is safe and safely watching over you, you have the time to process those feelings. And that's a really big thing. You have to process those feelings. You have to go through them in order to get to the other side where then you can learn from it, move forward from it, and um, and then release whatever chains that are tying you down so that you can then move forward fearlessly and get back to like your badass boss lady self, right? And look at that, look at her heart. See, that's what I'm talking about, unconditional love being in love with every area of your life. Thank you, beauty deck angels. That was so great. So I think the intuitive beauty angels are telling you that the universe and powerful archangels are here to help you. You are ready to receive miracles. You will have blessings shower upon you. Just open your heart to receive them. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Now, from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, we have got the card. Ooh, go the distance reversed. Bum, ba, da, da. That's what it looks like. It is a cheetah, which is honestly one of my favorite animals, but it's reversed, which means it's a protection message. So let's check this out. 47. All right. So the essential meanings is endurance, strength, and the long haul. But the protect, but because it was reversed, it's a protection message. So this is what it means. Do you feel as if you've been wandering in the desert now for ages and ages and nothing is happening? Um, yeah, I was feeling that because it was kind of weird. This whole ring it in the new year. When you conjure up the image of a desert, you picture parched lips, sunburned skin, and mirages. But there is more to it than that. Amid the hot sands are creatures with its resilient spirits, tough skins, and the willingness to burrow deep underground for water so that they may thrive. This is a time for developing survival skills and resilience. You are learning how to conserve your strength, and in this temporary time of austerity, it's wise to be selective about where you expend your energy. Listen to the call of your soul because it will never lead you astray. This is an important time for letting go of what's not important. This is a really, really great message from the universe for this week and from this oracle. I have been getting this message a lot actually too, um, but the main message for go the distance is this is a time to really, really tune in and stop putting your energy towards the things that are just not helping you move forward. So again, if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling angry, if you're feeling resentful, if you're feeling like you need a time out to be able to process the feelings that you've been feeling and to let go of these old beliefs and limiting beliefs that are telling you that you are not worthy, et cetera, et cetera, you need to stop. Like, it is recommended that this week, stop putting your time and effort and energy into the things that drain you. A really easy way to do this is to, when you wake up in the morning, start creating a morning routine. That's something that we, uh, that I'm going to be sharing a great way to uh, create your own morning routine in the hashtag best year ever yet, best year yet, slay your way through the decade workshop. Um, but something that is really helpful is to just say, okay, what is it that excites me the most? I'm gonna do that first. And then anything else that I can get done, I'll do that later, or I'll do that second, third, fourth, right? And this is just so you are able to get what is really going to fuel you and move you forward on your journey so that you can get to your goals faster, doing that first versus putting it last on your priority list. 
We think we need to do things because we're supposed to do them, because it's routine, because we have to. That goes out the window this week. And for just one week, try it for just one week. Do what excites you and what your soul is calling to you to do first and then do everything else. Um, I would love for you to try that for the week and then see how that goes. Um, it's been, I've actually been implementing that for the past um, couple of weeks and it's been really, really profound because the more that I just honored the fact that, hey, you know what, maybe doing, you know, um, like for example, for me personally, maybe doing all of my listing new items for um, Poshmark, doing them first thing in the morning is not super helpful for me because that's when my energy is the highest when I'm connected to my guides the most and that work does drain me, right? Um, I make a really good little side um, chunk of side income for that, but I have to do my spiritual work first because my spiritual work is the most important and it's what fuels me and gets me through the day. And it's also where I enjoy showing up the most, being able to do that kind of work. So I started channeling my guides first and then going from there and literally more abundance comes through that way versus thinking, oh, if I list something, then I'm going to make money. So I have to do it. Another message from this is you have to let go of the way that you think that you want, you think that it's going to play out. We all have this vision from our ego mind or like, okay, so I've like learned and I've studied and I know that it's supposed to be like, if I do A, B, and C, I'm going to get D this result. And what the universe is trying to tell you, what the Oracle is trying to tell you is this is a time where maybe you're not going to get everything that you want in the way that you think you want it. If you let go of this vision of this rid rigid vision of what it has to be like or this has to be the only way to get it if you kind of release that and just go you know what this is what I want give it to me in any way that I can get it and give it to me in the fastest way that I can get it and give it to me in the easiest way that I can get it I will show up and do my part it is amazing how much quicker that thing can come to you if you just release this necessity to have it be controlled, talk about letting the universe help you, um, in a way, uh, you can get it in a lot faster of a way and you can get a bigger blessing, a bigger miracle, more abundance, more money, more love if you just release it. So let the universe help you. Let the universe help you. Okay, cool. That was a big, that was big. Make sense? Okay, cool. All right, so then from the Magical Mermaid deck, I've got two cards. So the first card that uh, the mermaids want to tell you is to stay optimistic. I love my mermaids. Okay, your dreams are coming too. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. Mm -hmm. We talk about that resilience, right? You're developing resilience. You're developing the stamina to do it to go for it for the long haul. And in order to do that, in order to be able to stay optimistic, you have to stop doing the things that are not making you feel good. Again, if you're not in love with it, then stop doing it. That was a loving yell. Like, you've got this. All right. This is it. Your time has come. Hello, 2020. You're about to collect your rewards and your prayers will be answered. Yay. Thank you, Divine Creators. Thank you, Mother Mary. However, a bit more patience <laughs> and guided action on your part is required. The extra weight and effort are definitely worth it. The extra weight and effort are definitely worth it. You're just about there. And this card asks you to keep your faith about miracles and heavenly magic. Use your imagination to visualize that your dreams have already come true. Your heart will swell with gratitude and joy, and these emotions will speed up your desired manifestations. Before long, you'll be enjoying the tangible results. So again, if you've if you've studied law of attraction at all, um, it really is about your vibe. You, the universe works in the currency of energy. It does not work in the currency of words. And I want to repeat that. The, the universe does not operate uh, like um, in the currency of the universe operates in the currency of, a, of energy, not in the currency of words. And your energy is AKA your vibration, right? Everything has like a sound wave or like your atoms are bumping together to create a vibration, right? Just like a sound wave. 
and your the the vibration or the energy that you're emitting is basically you can uh, you know what it is by how you feel. So if your emotions are like awesome and happy and vibrant and joyous and in love and and at peace, then that is a way different vibration from scared, lonely, angry, depressed, what have you, right? And again, you can equate it to music if you want, but like, you know, listening to like a really sad, depressing Adele song, and I love Adele, right, is very different from like Justin Timberlake's Can't Stop the Music or like some, you know, strong, empowering Beyonce song. They're very, very different energies and vibes and they put you in a different mood if you listen to those songs so in a sense when the, the mermaids are saying stay optimistic listen to songs that boost your mood listen to songs make get to a place envision your life take the time out if you're really wanting to go the distance feel yourself by envisioning what it would be like if you already were in love with every single area of your life if you were already making money in a, in a way that felt fulfilling to you and you had amazing friends and you had the love of your life by your side and you had the millions of dollars in your bank account and you lived in the home that you really wanted to in the city that you really wanted to, what would that feel like? What would that be like? We will be doing a lot more of those visualization types of things in my Slay Your Way Through the Next Decade hashtag best year yet workshop. But stay optimistic. I love coffee. All right, and your last card from the mermaids is, oh my God, uh, are you crazy? Okay. Okay, the mermaids has wrong. Soulmate relationships. All right. You guys, this is huge. This is like my favorite card. I rarely ever get this card. This is the second time that I pulled this card in a row from this deck. Um, okay, new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. This is huge. I'm telling you, 2020 is all about being in love with every area of your life. All right, and also look, two dolphins. It's so great. All right, let me tell you what this means. Lord have mercy on my soul. Okay. This is so good. This is so good. This is really a transformative week, okay? Soulmates are here for you right now. All right. Your desire to be in a great love relationship. Here we go. Let's do that. Okay. Your desire to be in a great love relationship has manifested. Yay! And you're being guided to create or maintain that situation right now. This relationship has a deep spiritual basis with both partners having true faith and profound beliefs. You and your partner share similar spiritual concepts and are open-minded when it comes to learning about and implementing new practices. This partnership flows to you naturally right now. This partnership flows to you naturally right now. However, if you worry about it or try to force the situation to happen, you could slow the results. It's important for you to enjoy the process leading up to your desired outcome. Dance with the movement that your manifestation has created for you. Attract your partner through your warm and relaxed demeanor and know that heaven is taking care of all the details for both of you. Okay. I just like, it's crazy. Okay. I love this card. All right. So if you already are in a, you know, in a loving relationship, this is just a signification, a signifier, a signification. This is just signifying that you are going to be taking um, your relationship to an even deeper level. This is also, this is for people who are single, this is the chance that you are going to meet your soulmate. It's already happened. It's already in the works. They're already in your life. They're, or they're about to be in your life. The universe, the fates have, the divine creator has constructed things so that you two can be together. The way to attract this person if you are single is to have a warm and relaxed demeanor. Again, going back to staying optimistic and going the distance. This is about really un exuding unconditional love, having that warm, relaxed demeanor being able to stop doing the stuff that makes you feel like shit. When you are depressed, when you are in fear, when you are constantly doing things that do not serve you, 
stay around people who are toxic to your vibe, then you are going to continue to attract people who are toxic and you're going to delay the soulmate from coming. However, if you let go of that stuff and you stay optimistic, that vibe, that ease, and I'm telling you from experience, and this is something that I'm probably going to talk about a little bit more in 2020, but like my love adventures, because I am telling you, I have like been in relationships with many soulmates soulmates of mine and can write a whole entire series of a sex in the city with my love adventures but the point is is that like when you know you know when it's right it's right when it clicks it just clicks it can be easy it's fun and it's just it it literally it just flows so if that is something that you want especially when you have like those spiritual concepts that are alike and that you're willing to learn from each other and be open-minded with each other and help each other grow. Like this is here for you. The universe wants to give this to you. The universe wants you to be happy. The universe wants you to be in love and have that partner that supports you and loves you unconditionally the way that you would love and support them. That is here for you. So in order to get this, see, that's why all the cards relate. So allow the universe, allow the universe to help you this week. Okay. Allow, accept and receive that help. Remember that you're safe and loved and supported. Call a mother Mary to tap into that unconditional love, especially for yourself. And remember to let go of the things that do not support you. Remember to put your energy and conserve your energy for the things that matter the most. So the things that you want to do the most, do those first. Eat your ice cream first before your veggies. Yes, this is the time. Stay optimistic. Remember, staying optimistic will help you increase your vibe, raise your vibe so that you can attract your soulmate relationship. And that can even be like getting your ideal mentor, getting your ideal partner, and also getting your ideal business partner even in order to increase your cash flow. So yes, the card is definitely for your romantic relationship, but you can also pull in and call in your business relationship, your money relationship, your mentor relationship, and your relationship with your guides and your universe and your creator, okay? How glorious is this guidance for this week? Um, I would love to hear in the comments below. Let me know what resonated the most with you, any questions that you have, um, any action steps that you want to take in order to move forward. My big suggestion, if you want to take inspired action to move forward and manifest your soulmate relationship, all the money that you want, the man, the money and the million dollar empire is to Take each morning to really connect with your guides and really tune into how you feel and let your soul guide your way. I'm going to be talking in my Slay Your Way Through the Next Decade, hashtag best year yet workshop, um, how to follow your intuition in order to know what to do every single day or even in every single moment of every single day. Um, but the, the biggest part of it at the beginning is to like just tune in, right? Take some quiet time in the morning before you even get out of bed, right? So even if you're with someone, just keep your eyes closed and pretend like you're still sleeping and just breathe, connect, see what comes through, see what feels the best and like just go with that. Do what your heart is telling you to do. Just the very first action. So like one day and it could be different and I think that's a thing to remember too is it could be different. So Maybe one day it's to journal. The first thing every morning, you have to journal. Like that's your morning routine. But like there's some days where you maybe not might not want to journal. You might want to write a post for Instagram or you might want to do a live video or you might want to um, take some time outside and go for a walk. I don't know, but your soul is going to guide you. It doesn't have to be so rigid as an, oh my God, I have to journal every single morning. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to connect to the divine. That's not true. You're connected to the divine 24 seven. It's just a matter of what is going to help you access that. And that's what, um, I personally, um, think is my strength as a coach and why my clients do love me so much is because I'm not telling you that my way is the right way. You have to find out what way works best for you. 
But my job as a coach and as a psychic and a medium is to help channel that guidance that is specific for you, helping you find what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and how to help you step into your power so that you can create a system that works best for you. Everybody is on their own journey. Everyone is at a different point in their journey and everyone works differently. We have things that are similar, but ultimately it's the things that are different and unique that's going to help you shine, right? So um, action step is to take some time tonight or today, every single day, every single morning to tune in. Stop doing the things. Like rearrange your priority list, okay? Do the things that excite you first, then do everything else. Just for a week, see how that goes. Stay optimistic, do the things that vibe and maintain that, maintain that, uh, maintain that warm and relaxed demeanor. Infuse your life with love so that you can get that. Okay. Uh, that is it for this week's episode of spiritual hashtag spiritual Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. I am so excited for this year with you and many years moving forward. Again, if you are interested in a, your own personalized Oracle tarot card reading, uh, drop a comment below or message me. And also if you're interested in my slay your way through the next decade hashtag best year yet workshop it's going to be seven to ten days um, i'm going to be channeling the uh guidance for what you guys need um but it's going to be seven to ten days of showing up every single day and i will be delivering you video audio worksheets um prompted journal prompt like journal prompts um, and exercises and action steps for you to really be able to um level up get you into the right vibe and the right state of mind, let go of the shit that is no longer serving you and really getting clear on your vision and your pl action plan so that you can get the results that you desire and have your hashtag best year yet. I love you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful week and I will see you all very soon. Mwah.